Hi, Charlie Velasquez here with Robbie in Florida and Tifro. I'm at the game, uh, the Boca suicide prevention game, and that's going on in the back. And I ran into here with Mr. Grog. Grog. Greg Shaw Haskin. That's Did I get me. it right? You got it. I'm so bad with names. Sorry. No worries. It's all good. How are you Thank doing? You. Very good. Thank you. So, you uh, tell us a little bit about your rugby history. Um, and then we'll get into what you're doing right now and well, your son. My rugby history is uh, I was playing football at Hofstra University working at a bar <clears throat> that was owned by rugby guys. Oh, okay. That's so uh, there was a small break in the spring where we didn't have football and I went out and started playing rugby. How old, and, uh, how old were you? I was um, probably 19 years old. Oh, okay, so okay. you started early. So I started fairly early. Back oh, then thought, yeah, there wasn't back then, much yeah. high school rugby. And um, so I played sevens in the summer, and I played the two, three weeks that we didn't have football in the spring, and uh, I loved it. Um, I got to, we, on Randall's Island, they played sevens pickup. What, what, what state is this? That's in New York. Oh, New York, okay. So they would play pickup sevens <laughs> between the men's clubs, and the Hofstra kids used to go out there, and um, Olmex had a really good team at that time, and I started playing with Olmex, and Jerry Miro, asked me to come play for them so I started playing some select side and playing for all mechs. Emil Cygnus saw me and he invited me into an ERU sevens camp and he also told the ERU collegiate coach about me and I ended up going into the ERU collegiate program. ERU, what is that? The ERU back in the day was, it's the Eastern Rugby Union. Oh, okay. So it was the, no, it was, that. it was the, it was the okay, top okay. territorial team on the East Coast, yeah, comprised of, of the East Coast players. So, yeah, so um, I started playing uh, sevens with Olmex, then I played for Old Blue. Then I moved back to Florida. I played for Fort Lauderdale. And okay. then I went back and I went up to Life where I became a chiropractor and played four years on scholarship there. And then I moved back to Florida. And then for four years, I flew up and played with Old Blue in the Super League. I used to fly up from oh, Florida okay. and played in Super yeah, League. Yeah. And um, yeah, and so now I'm coaching Atlantis and uh, I'm one of the coaches for their elite high school team and we participate in this uh, high school program that encompasses the top uh, programs throughout the US you know the Academy teams and um, we have a camp tomorrow so hopefully right. we get a good right here, turnout right? Right, here? right here yeah so uh, hopefully at home field hopefully we get a good turnout and uh, it'll be great to, to, to see the kids so so you are um, coaching sevens right Coaching your, sevens, correct, yeah. You're a sevens lover. I mean, I've coached 15s and I've coached sevens, mostly sevens for the past six, seven years. I've been, uh, I started with the first youth team, the first Atlantis youth team in the Vegas sevens. Okay. And uh, we've continued to develop into kind of a circuit between, uh, now it's L.A., but now between Utah, the Tropical Sevens, and uh, they're going to have another event with the CRCs again. So, so. so basically, Atlantis, w what you do is, because many people just d don't know this stuff. Right. You basically recruit, you know, the best players you can, <laughs> and you go to these tournaments like LA that used to be in Vegas, sure. Tropical Sevens that we have here in Tampa this year. Yeah. And, and for what age age brackets? So, you know, we have U16 and U18. We also have boys and girls. And they, the Atlantis also have men and women's teams. But um, this program right now, this weekend, is for high school boys. High school. And um, I don't think we have any high school girls signed up, but it was open to the girls. Um, oh, we so, just yeah, don't we, have many we, of those yet. Yeah. Um, so no, we're just trying to evaluate and teach <coughs> sevens. Um, we're trying to give the kids an opportunity to maybe play at a higher level where the pace is faster, the players are better skilled, fitter, and get them exposed to where maybe they could be seen to play at the next level. Uh, it, it seems <coughs> to me that th this is what happened to me. I sort of didn't <coughs> like sevens too much. Right. But I started liking it when I when I understood it better and I saw it properly played. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it 
So, you know, that's once you understand it and 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 you you watch teams that are properly coached it's it's a really nice it's, game it's it's a great game it, sevens is a great game you know also personally like when you think of rugby you you sort of have to think of 15s right <coughs> that that is what so this is that's the tradition you know, correct i mean that's that's rugby you know that's the rugby experience <coughs> and, and and then you have sevens which is an awesome thing and it's been developing great yeah uh, yeah. Which bring us to just talk. Uh, I want to congratulate you on your son's uh, what do you call it? This uh, appoint, appointment yeah. now. It's well, the, he's so he got selected. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. No, well, and, and let me tell you, is, is when you were talking about your career, I was thinking of his, and it's really nice that he sort of went through similar things, right? Because he ended up. Yeah. He had a. I was watching his interview we have from September, and he was talking yeah. about all the teams he played. He ended up playing college in life, just, yeah, just as you. Yeah, is um, he a chiropractor also? He's not. He's in the he he uh, went to the undergrad program. Okay. He also went, you know, um, played locally in the high school league in in Florida, and um, he got drafted in the MLR to New York and then traded to New Orleans. That was pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> in, incredible, you know. He's he's been through a lot. I'm super proud of him. He's a he's a really good a kid. Really humble. This was a little bit surprising. Humble. I've seen I've seen him play seven since he was you know in high school. Right. And how did this how this sort of happened a little bit quickly? So, right. So what did he so, in well, December? Chase, did he go to? Chase has always played sevens, you know, but one at life they don't play a lot of sevens. They play in the CRC uh, and and that's about it. So over the summer he played for um, the Tsunami Barbarians, which is a team that I coach in Rugby Town, and he had a, he had a pretty good showing and um, he got invited to the U.S. camp in uh, November. And um, he had a good showing there, got invited back, and they had a scrimmage against Canada, and uh, he performed really well. And uh, Coach Friday invited him into the residency program, which is under contract and training year-round in uh, San Diego at uh, the Chula Vista Elite Training Center. And uh, he just got selected to go to Spain and will get his first cap representing the U.S. This, is, is this, next weekend. That's pretty amazing. Uh, so quickly, I mean, yeah, how old yeah. is he? 20? 22. 22, wow. 22, yeah, yeah, pretty is, incredible. Is this one of the stops of the HBSC? It is, it it's, is part of the se it's part of the but World it, it, 7 Series. Is it a new it one? Is. It is a new one, ah, it is a new one. Spain did it just in a Yeah, no, it's the first time that Good. they're having okay. tournaments in Spain, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Um, again, Are you he's, going? I am. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. They have two tournaments, and I'm gonna go to the second one in Seville. Okay. Yeah. It's. Um, listen, these yeah. opportunities uh, only that. happen once, and to get uh, the listen, chance to get to watch him play, it's pretty we special. We parents who have kids playing rugby. I yes. mean. No, I know, I know Doesn't your boys. No, that, you know, it is. So it's as good as it gets. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Nice uh, talking to you as well. Good luck tomorrow with I your appreciate it. thing. Uh, you'll probably be back later. Yes. During the season. Yeah, for sure. You're going to be at Tropical, much. right? I, we, we will have teams at Tropical. Okay, That's awesome. for sure. Okay. We'll see you then. Thank you very much, thank you, Charlie. Man. Have Bye -bye. a good day. Thanks. Oh,